Hello, and welcome to a very special gun to battle operation 2 featuring the Psycho Doga, a unit from a prequel manga to the Charge Counterattack series, piloted by Gus, who would later pilot one of the uh, Jag Dogas. And this unit is a effectively a Garadoga fit with a Psycho frame, being able to use a number of different funnels. In game, it's a ground and space capable general that has a ballistic resistance of 20, a beam resistance of 27, and a melee resistance of 25. A range strength of 30, a melee strength of 40, a movement speed of 135, and a thrust gauge of a very nice 80. For parts, we have close range of 20, medium of 21, and long range of 11. For equipment, this unit has the Psycho Doga BAR. It is not a laser MP40. I repeat, it's not, but it looks like one. It is a heat based, chargeable weapon that can do some pretty decent damage. Not outrageous, but decent. We got our Space Whiffle Bat, of course, our axe, the Missile, and this one is actually quite capable of staggering, and I believe um, it's guided by your uh, your target, so you can do some pretty decent damage with it. The other grenade launcher, which fires a number of them in a barrage. Then we have the Funnels Times 6 Pincer and Funnel Times 6 Pursuit. In this case, if you don't know what this does, they pop out, they float behind you, and fire at whatever you happen to target at. For skills, we have Leg Shock Absorber Level 3, Emergency Evasion System Level 2, Quick Boost Level 4, Glide Structure Level 4, Fall Prevention System, Flight Control Program Level 3, Anti-Blast Stabilizer, High Performance Balancer, High Spec and Back Level 2, Maneuver Armor, Forced Injector Level 3, extremely nice. Melee Combo Controller. Special Left Arm Equipment Buffer Level 3. Pardon me. Special Back Add-On Buffer Level 2. And Special Leg Buffer Level 2. What do I think of this unit? It is an interesting middle ground between the... In my opinion, the Jag Doga raid that Gus pilots. It has a lot of those features in, uh, with a few extras, like the grenades are actually really nice. And it has some of the play style that you would expect from a Garadoga. It's an excellent middle ground. It's a very well-performing suit, in my opinion, that can do a lot of work. So I think it's good, but it can feel a little awkward at times. So you have to kind of get used to how it controls. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic beginning of your week. And um, I hadn't expected to really get a recording with this unit. And I didn't expect to use uh, this recording. I normally don't go with um, matches that I feel like are squashes. But considering the rest of what I had gotten over the week... Nah, Use what you can, you know. Shows off the unit. That's all that matters. So, uh, this unit does feel kind of a mix like the between the Raid Jack Doga to me and the Gara Doga. Just missing, or sans the, uh, the little lo electric line that does, or cable, or the guff-like item it has. Or the uh, Gara Doga usually has, and a couple other items, but it's pretty close in a lot of ways. So... I uh, immediately began by pushing up here and shooting the roadway because that's how you do all good things. We're going to get bumped somehow and we're going to turn around, lock him with our funnels, let them do a little damage and we're going to use the burst fire to uh, get a little damage on that guy. Now since we got uh, number two going after him, I turned my attention to trying to help my guys out. Now I'm going to go from the one grenade into the burst grenade. Because the one staggers and the other does a lot of damage for the most part. So we're going to be kind of obnoxious to... Uh, is this an enhanced double zeta? I'm not sure. I'm switching through things as much as I can. And I'm just trying to uh, rattle up the damage 
So he jumped down there a little bit unwisely. He's going to get caught and he's gone. So not a bad start. We're doing pretty good. The team's staying together unlike 90% of matches I have where they scatter to the wind. We're working pretty well. And uh, I'm going to throw a couple grenades just in case there's somebody still up there. Now, I noticed the uh, sub enemy support fire coming in, so I wanted to make sure I wasn't getting a hit. I'm going to save my fire and then fire that charge shot from the not MP40. I'm going to use the uh, funnels to get a little extra damage in because I didn't want to come in and knock any of my guys down. So, he's been dealt with. He probably should have spawned in somewhere else, but a yeah, risk reward. So I'm going to once again take the high ground when I come up here looking to see what's going on. I see this support fire and I decide, you know what, I'm going to jump over here and let the, uh, the thrust glide me a little bit. And I hear the fire come down behind me. This brings my attention to uh, the Quebla over here. So I'm going to help push him with my guy over here and build up a little bit of stagger. Hit him with the grenades. When I hit him with that, I'm going to accidentally let go of the trigger way too early on that and we'll hit him with the follow-up because they do build up some stagger so help basically uh make sure he can't go anywhere we're gonna catch a guy here get him with that uh down strike we're gonna hold off and we're gonna try to sneak the damage in there but i didn't want to knock my dude over try to get out of the way of our uh <laughs> our support we're gonna come in and we're just gonna stab him and take the kill so we're in a very good position and they're going to blow up our base and catch up a little bit but I would almost say it's kind of a waste. So I decided to kind of come over here and peek around to see if anybody was uh, coming from our base but I didn't see anyone and I decided I don't really want to split the team too much so I'm going to come back to my guys and try to, uh, to back them up. When I noticed they spawned at B. So I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna try to help my support by throwing a bit of damage. Damage is deceptive on this unit. It seems low up until the point where you start considering how much it stacks on how fast. So we're gonna take advantage of that burst fire, turn around, hit him with that, uh, uh, stagger and help take him out real quick and we're going to watch the other guy get taken out now we're going to act as a follow-up to um, number three here because i noticed a guy spawn over here and i like to come around from the sides so you know gotta be careful so we're going to use that follow again to build up the quick stagger we're going to fire a couple rounds. We're going to come around this way because he's focused the other direction and get him with that down strike. Switch over to the axe and give him the tomahawk chop which does some pretty decent damage and he's going to get taken out by number two. We're going to try to come up and help our guys but we're going to fire a little too far for that guy. We saw the Quebly. Oh, he's not down yet. We'll just uh, watch him uh, pass from this mortal realm. We're going to push on the, uh, the Quebla again. And we're going to throw some of that damage out there. Sweet, sweet damage. Use our lock on, get some of that damage stack, and then fire and take the kill. Shazam! So our team's doing exceptionally well. We're staying, uh, for the most part, at least teamed up pretty well. Uh, except two tends to like to um, wander off. So I saw our guys pushing over by B and I decided to check them out. Then I saw number five in this situation so I decided to come up and give him a hand. I'm going to push this guy a little bit to uh, displace him. I saw a guy spawn at D so I'm going to come up here, throw some funnels on that guy, turn. He's going to drop down there in a second. We're going to turn and catch him with uh, a stagger. We're not going to be able to get that shot in there. And he's going to pop up again. We're going to hit him with the funnels and a little bit of that stagger action. And we're going to come down and we're going to help our guy out as much as we can. We're going to knock down the, uh, the double there. And then we're going to get 
this guy and take out the unit that was currently unmanned. Um, I'm not going to push my luck too much, though they're not paying attention to me for some reason. I guess they're really desperate to go after the uh, support, so I'm just going to use this as a way to uh, wreck up as much damage as I can, drop my funnels, and I'm going to use my forced injector to uh, avoid this Shazam. And I realize that my guy is still back there and didn't use the other direction to go. So I'm going to try to come up and we're going to uh, try to give him a hand by at least getting some of the guys following him to uh, crowd up here. So Shazam, some funnels on that guy. We see our friend over here. We're going to just uh, build up some of that stagger, use our grenade to ensure he doesn't move, and get him with the down strike. We're going to go ahead and push, and we're going to use the grenade again, come up, down strike for it, not hit him, but we're going to be able to at least have displaced him. So we're going to wait, and we're going to take this Quebla out with the burst fire. Fire, stagger the Z, get him with some more of that damage, and then get him with the funnels. We're using this with the idea of stacking as many things on top of many things as we can. And I was rooting for this guy to get away from us, but he doesn't quite. So we're going to get him with that stab, let number two take him out. Now I see this guy, and I'm going to drop down, do the axe to catch him, move out of the way. And we're going to try to get him, but uh, I'm going to clash with him with my down strike. Move to the side because I don't want to get in the way of Mr. Mustard. And that's the end of the match. Let's see how we did. No deaths in this match. Not an MP40. Here we go. We have one board position and second place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.